Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the voiceover show. As usual, I'm Lenny, and as usual, that's Xavier. Hey, guys, today we're trying something new. Here at the voiceover show, we like to give voice actors their due, even the ones that are no longer with us. Yes, unfortunately, there have been some amazing voice actors who sadly passed away. But at the same time, while they are gone, in a sense, they still sort of live on in the characters they help breathe life into. And we're here to honor that today. So join us in a new part of the show called Listen Back On, while we listen back on June Foray. So to be truthful, this was actually a very last minute decision to do this. Not Listen Back On itself, we've actually been planning this for a while. But at the time of this, I actually had a script prepared for Alan Young, who we're going to talk about another time. When the news of June's death hit me, I knew that we had to dedicate this first episode of Listen Back On to her. June was born September 18th, 1917, and she passed away July 26th, 2017. She was nearly 100 years old, and even with her age, she was still voice acting. You've definitely heard her voice throughout your childhood, and even some of you adults out there grew up with her. She breathed life into some truly legendary characters like Rocky and Natasha from Rocky and Bullwinkle, Granny and Witch Hazel from Looney Tunes, and Magicka Dispel from DuckTales. Hey, here's a role I bet you didn't know she had. She actually starred in one of the most famous Twilight Zone episodes of all time. She was the voice of the evil doll, Talking Tina. My name is Talking Tina, and I'm going to kill you. She even came back to voice Magicka in the DuckTales video game in 2013. And then, all the power and wealth in the world will be mine, mine, mine! Wrath is inferior error and deep spells. It's last time I shop for spell ingredients at this cow store. Not only does she have a star on the Walk of Fame, but she created the Annie Awards. The Annie Awards today is a huge deal. She even has an award named after her, the June Foray Award. It's given out to those who've made a charitable or benevolent impact on the world of animation. Her final role would end up being reprising Rocky and Natasha in a CGI Rocky and Bowwinkle short back when Peabody and Sherman was releasing on video, meaning she ended her career with her two most iconic characters. Private's fearless leader wanted to kill us anyway. If you saw his rumpus room, you would totally get it. At the time of this recording, it's been no longer than a day since June passed, and I'm going to be totally honest, celebrity deaths, um, they happen, but they normally don't get to me that much, but this one, this one actually really got to me, guys. June meant a ton to a lot of people, so we hope that in some little way, we were able to honor her memory. June, we miss you already, and thank you for joining us and listen back on. We see, we'll see you guys again next time. See you later.